We're going to take a listen to the brand new song from Me and My Shadow called Collapse off of their brand new EP that just came out. Dip a toe in the water, feel a little cold. Either need to dance, feel a little old. Spark of something fresh, it's a little strange. Into something new, there's a little pain. From song from me and my shadow called collapse um lincoln i don't know what kind of music do you think they are you just asked in the chat what kind of genre do you think they fit into i would say an industrial-esque you know pop rock um i I always feel like they're going to get a lot heavier than they actually do but um the one thing i really like about these guys and we talked about that we talked with this um i can't remember his name's either robert or randy uh, but we talked with him carrier mr carrier um, in Blab one night about um, his production skills and how, how good we thought that he was. Do you remember that? I do remember. Yeah, I'm actually feeling a little randy tonight. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm re- working on the review on that. You can you can uh, find it on the website, Indie Music Plus, um, coming up in the next couple of days, if not sooner. So, Dave, what did you think of their new tune? Austin Powers, you didn't catch that? all right no i'm with you on the whole industrial rock um i also had that i had that feeling joe like did you have this feel like you're waiting for kind of a big kick in yo i'm always waiting for that you know just like something big to come in it kind of like nine inch nails it was like late nine inch nails and it was uh i was feeling i'm like cool man what you know this something's gonna happen here um and it didn't come in big. I, I'm okay with that. It's not like uh, any huge type of loss or anything. Uh, production was really good. I like the the sound effects, the bass, the kind of like distorted synth sound. It was working for him. Yeah, dude, there there's some issues uh, on the vocals here at parts. Like sometimes he goes into this raspy, almost uh, almost like an Axl Rose, you know, type of register at moments. I'm like cool i'm digging this but then he he just kind of goes up into a higher range and it i think it's just i don't know he he kind of wavers a little um on tune just gets a little out of key at times so i i i mean did you hear that because uh yeah yeah that was going to be one of the things i mentioned you know in the in the review and this is something that we've talked about with him before and you know he's a cool guy so i know he's not really going to get me like super hurt my hurt his feelings or anything like that but yeah some of the notes were um his vibrato is so wavy this is one of the things we talked about before that his vibrato is, <laughs> thanks thanks rob his vibrato is so wavy that um <laughs> why do you always ruin my concentration <laughs> oh like i didn't have four eyes enough 
Um, his vibrato is so wavy that, yeah, it seems like some of the notes kind of dip and wave a little bit. I'm um, not exactly sure where he's going with it, but, you know, maybe I just need to listen to it a couple more times and get used to it. So, No, man, it, this – dude – this is important. This is really important. Like uh, just a lot of bands, they just kind of, they forget about this stuff. It's like, ah, it's close enough. Let, let's just, you know, rip the CDs. It's like, well, I mean, w- what are you trying to do with this music? If, you, if you're like serious, you want to get a distribution deal. You want to sign with a label. You want to play in front of 10,000 people. You have to fix these things. You know, and that's that's what I would hope is a big part of the value that we provide. You know, when we like do review and a critique, we're we're not just gonna like ignore this stuff. So, like that's it. We're we're not trying to bash anyone ever. But like the yeah, the vocals they go out of they go out of tune at a few mm-hmm. points in the song. So and at the same time, it's like I I really really enjoy their music. So I love. Oh, I know there there's so much cool yeah. shit going on Good here, stuff. man. Yeah. Overall. Cool, cool stuff. Yeah, you know, it's from my my old neighbor, Kansas City. I lived in St. Louis for a long time, so I know Kansas City really well. So, like their sound, I, I recognize it. It sounds familiar to me, you know, and just because of the the area it came from. So, cool. Thank you guys so much. Um, don't be strangers. Um, always let us know when you have new music out. Of course, we're gonna be promoting the crap out of it. So.